The main reason for winding the coil of a moving coil meter on an aluminium former is either because the coil requires a stiff report, aluminium is made in Australia and so it's easy to get, the coil is brought quickly to rest by eddy currents, or aluminium makes the meter more sensitive. Now remember in this case, if we're looking at a reading on a coil meter, we want the coil to come to rest quickly. The best way to do that is to produce eddy currents that will slow down and stop any movement of the meter. And the best way to do that is to have a conductive metal like aluminium. So if we use aluminium, then the coil is brought quickly to rest by eddy currents. Question two. In an experiment, a bar magnet is dropped through a long plastic tube. The experiment is repeated using a copper tube of exactly the same length and diameter. Which is correct? Will the magnet take longer to fall through the plastic tube or the copper tube or take the same amount of time because gravita uh, gravitational acceleration is the same? Well, the answer here is that as the magnet is falling through the copper tube, it will produce eddy currents in the metal. That won't happen for the, copper tube, uh, for the plastic tube because plastic is an insulator. These eddy currents will produce a magnetic field that will resist the motion of the magnet. So the correct answer is the magnet will take a longer time to fall through the copper pipe because the copper pipe produces a magnetic field that opposes its motion. Question three. A current of five amps uh, flows in a wire, which we can see over here, that is placed in a magnetic field, the yellow lines, of 0.5 Tesla. The wire is 0.7 meters long and is at an angle uh, of 60 degrees to the field. How much force is on the wire? So in this case, we want to use our equation for force in a magnetic field. That's F equals B I L sine theta. And in fact, we have all of these values in the question. We have B, we have L, we have I, and we have theta. So by substituting all these in the equation, uh, we'll end up with a mathematical expression that we can evaluate with a calculator and that will evaluate to 1.5 newtons. If you wanted, you could figure out the direction of this force as well. To find the direction of the force, you have to use the right hand rule. In this case, the current's going in that direction, the magnetic field's going in that direction, so the force will be in that direction.